To security now, the police in Ondo State have commenced investigation into the abduction of several persons around Ifon area in Osea local government. The victims were said to be returning from a burial ceremony in Edo State on Saturday when the incident occurred. The police spokesperson in Ondo State, Fumilayo Dolami, disclosed that operatives of the police and the army have begun combing the forest with a view to rescuing the victims. Information reaching us said 11 people were kidnapped. And right now, as I speak to you, our men are still combing the bush for them. One of them that has been rescued is currently at the police station. And of course, the victim is going to be one of the people that will give us the information we need concerning others. We heard about the kidnap. The police and the army were the first set of people to move into the bush before the sister agents is joined. We've always worked hand in hand. And of course, most times when things like this happen, we don't do a one-man show. We work as a team. Meanwhile, the police command in Ondo State has also confirmed the killing of a director in the Ondo State Teaching Service Commission, Gwenga Olofimoyegun, whose mutilated corpse was found on Saturday in Akure. The police PRO says the deceased was identified by his son through the suit he wore before he went missing. Now, Mr. Olofimoyegun was declared missing on Thursday last week after he left office and never returned. Police received an anonymous call that a corpse was decomposing around St. Teresa Primary School. Immediately, the police moved to the area. On getting there, we saw a decomposed body with the head chopped off already and his intestine packed out. So the police had to contact the local government while trying to evacuate the corpse. A young man walked up to them and said that was his father who had been missing for some days. He said the suit he was wearing was what actually made him to identify him as his father because that was the last clothes, that was the clothes he left home with. And we have joining us tonight the public relations officer of the Nigeria Police Force, Ondo Command, from Layo Dolami. It's good to have you join us on the news tonight. Talking about uh, the uh, discovery of the corpse of uh, Mr. Gwengalofi Moyegu. Uh, tell us more about this case. Uh, was the report even filed at the police station when he was declared, uh, when he went missing? And uh, take us through that process up until the time when he was discovered dead. Good evening. Carry on, please. Good evening. Yes, when the, the disease got missing, the son said he went to SWAT to make a report. But yesterday afternoon, an anonymous caller called the police and informed us about a decomposing body. And that was how we were able to get the information needed. And in the course of trying to evacuate the corpse, the son came and said that was his father. All right, Madam Pierre, oh, but the, the question just remains, uh, what, what happened in the length of time before he went missing and um, you know, when he was discovered dead? Are there any um, pointers that the police is having at this time regarding uh, this and what could have gone wrong? Well, for now, we can't say exactly what happened. Investigation has started and after investigation, after the conclusion of the investigation, We'll be able to unravel the mystery behind the set. In the meantime, let's also talk about the um, other report about a number of persons said to have been kidnapped uh, around the for area in Ose local government area. There is some uncertainty as to the true number of those kidnapped. Tell us what you know at this time. Yes, the information brought was that a coastal bus was attacked around Omialafa area. That's a long Ifon or expressway. The police and the army were there since that yesterday, combed the bush for possible rescue of the people. Fortunately for us, today, one of the victims was rescued. And of course, we have to give him some time to calm down because normally he would have been traumatized. Our men are still there. The anti-kidnapping squad are there. Other tactical teams, sister agencies, we all are working to ensure 
others are rescued or not. All right. But still, uh, talking about um, the, the case that you've also spoken about regarding uh, the uh, death of Mr. Olofi Moyego, there is also, what can you tell us about the, the nature of his uh, death? Uh, you know, looking at this this issue that we have, of course, um, violence has been on the on the rise. Um, insecurity matters, of course, remain a front burner for many. Regarding this um, death of uh, Mr. Olofi Moyegu, what is the actual cause of death? For now, we can't say this is the actual cause of death, but the police is investigating a case of suspected murder. And until we are through with the investigation, we can't say exactly what happened. Right, uh, the public relations officer of the Nigeria Police Force in Ondo State, Fumilayo Dulami, thanks a lot for your time with us on TVC News.